Welcome back. India's lander Vikram was just a few minutes away touching the moon's surface when it lost contact with the ISRO control room in Bengaluru. Only three countries in the world have successfully completed that soft landing on the moon. United States, Russia and China being three of them. Now the last unsuccessful mission was that of Israel in April 2019. So here's why Chandrayaan-2 was one of the most difficult space missions undertaken. The voyage to moon, a 48-day journey covering 3,84,000 kilometers. At 1.52 a.m., India was a few minutes away from a landing, just 2.1 kilometers from another moon milestone. That's when the ISRO control room was stunned into silence. The scientists who were staring at the screens with excitement and monitoring every stage of the mission suddenly showed signs of worry. Millions of Indians were glued to their TV screens. With each passing minute, the wait seemed to get longer. Chandrayaan 2's lander Vikram had slightly veered off the ideal parameters and then got stuck. Minutes later, ISRO made a formal announcement. The control center had lost its contact with lander Vikram. Vikram lander descent was as planned and normal performance was observed up to an altitude of 2.1 km. Subsequently, the communications from the lander to ground station was lost. The data is being analyzed. Not just India, entire world had its eyes on mission Chandrayaan-2 and there was a reason. India scientists aim to reach the most difficult part of the moon, its South Pole, where there are craters that have remained untouched by sunlight for billions of years. And that's where scientists expect to find water. Chandrayaan 2's findings would have been crucial for NASA's manned mission in 2024 to moon's South Pole. Even though it has been 50 years since man first stepped foot on Earth's only satellite, Mission Moon, for many countries, is still a dream. Only three nations have so far achieved success in soft landing. The United States, Russia and China. The last unsuccessful attempt was by Israel in April 2019, when its lander crashed on the moon. Now this mission cannot be considered as a failure because the Chandrayaan-2 orbiter is intact, healthy and functioning normally in the lunar orbit. And since it carries eight payloads, it will be conducting a majority of the scientific missions as desired by ISRO. ISRO may have lost communication with lander Vikram, but the orbiter is still circling the moon. The images it sends will help scientists analyze what unfolded in the last 15 minutes of the mission. And that will help ISRO perfect the most critical part of mission moon landing the next time we attempt it. Bureau Report, India Today. Joining me for some perspective is India Today's consulting editor Shiv Arur. Now Shiv, while we do know what exactly happened late last night, but is there a chance at all that the lander Vikram could be tracked, at least via the orbiter? Now, remember, the orbiter, uh, you know, has very powerful cameras, and one of its missions is to map the surface of the moon and take high-resolution photographs, which it already has started doing. So, theoretically, yes, of course, it is possible that the orbiter, uh, you know, could, uh, uh, you know, look for the Vikram lander wherever it has, uh, you know, uh, uh, apparently crash-landed on the surface of the moon. But that's not one of its specific missions. It already has, uh, you know, a list of missions that it will be, uh, you know, embarking on, uh, mapping the topography of the moon, uh, 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 looking for water, creating uh, a huge map of the uh, solar, the, 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 the south pole uh, of the moon, which has never been done before. Uh, 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 all other sorts of imagery analysis uh, using its advanced cameras are going to be done. But in the scope of that, perhaps 
locating the Vikram lander could be one thing that is possible right now. But also its orbit, the orbit path that it takes, which is over the poles and the equator, would pass it over the South Pole a number of times. And therefore, theoretically, it is conceivable that it could, uh, you know, mount this kind of search mission, if you will, of the lander. But that is not one of its... Uh, you know, key uh, key functions. Uh, remember, it is supposed to keep in touch with the lander as well. Uh, uh, you know, it is the it is the relaying body. The messages and communications from the lander go to the orbiter and then to the ground station uh, here on Earth. All right, Shiv. Uh, thank you so much for those details. So, a country which is trying to look into the future and not at the past. That's a wrap on this bulletin. Thank you so much for watching. For further news and updates, please log on to indiatoday.in and stay tuned. Lots more lined up after this break. You are watching India.